All right, this is uh, just a short, unrehearsed video. Um, I just wanted to do a little video and post it on Vans Air Force and to uh, get some tips. And if somebody sees something that uh, doesn't look right with what I'm doing, um, I really appreciate letting me know. And so uh, there's not a lot of videos that I could find out there for rebuilding Lycoming engines so um, I'm building a, a 9A uh, I'm two and a half years into it plus uh, I'm maybe two years eight months or so I just started working on getting this on the gear um, got both the main gear on uh, had to send one caliper out for uh, back to Matco. It didn't seem to be working like I thought it should. And the nose wheel is on its way to anti-splat for the bearing mod for this thing. But uh, anyways, the main reason I wanted to make this video was for this engine rebuild because I'm, I'm really thinking about doing this myself. And so, anyways, I bought this engine actually off, I found it on eBay. Um, it was all disassembled. That's a 0320 E2A. It was a 150 horsepower wide deck engine. Um, so, anyways, I bought it. Uh, the crank had been sent out um, to GNN. Um, it came back with yellow tags. Uh, it's all standard um, and I called them and verified and and uh, and also mic'd it myself and it is standard so um, but everything else when I got it was uh, just you know dirty and a mess actually so I sent the cases out to Divco um, they redid them they're yellow tagged and they're standard as well. Um, I sent the cases, I sent the accessory case and the oil sump to them also. Um, and they redid it all. They, it's amazing what they look like now compared to what they did. Actually, all these parts. Um, so anyways, uh, the cam is I know I don't have the yellow tags out with everything but everything was yellow tagged these I sent the all the internal parts to aircraft specialties they were great to work with as was Divco um, they're just really good people to work with um, so the cam I sent the lifters out um, I'm sorry the uh, the rocker arms all eight rocker arms went out to aircraft specialties um, the gears uh, so that's all of that um, I got all new uh, connecting rod bolts and nuts um, the connecting rods went to aircraft specialties um, and they're all yellow tagged so there are the uh, the main bearings for the crank um, and the, I got the bearings for the connecting rods there, a new fuel pump, um, there are the, the uh, tappets, reconditioned tappets, reconditioned lifters, um, all this from aircraft specialties. Um, I've got four brand new, these are 160 horsepower, um, superior cylinders from aircraft specialties um, I got the heavy wall the heavier duty uh, piston pins which I know you have to have when you're going to 160 uh, so that's about it on that table I have a new oil pump as the old pump had a steel gear and an aluminum gear I believe and I know there's a like a service bulletin from Lycoming so I bought a new oil pump 
new the whole new new gears new housing um, new shaft um, a new vernatherm valve is right there um, I got the gasket kit here um, I bought new uh, oil drain back lines I bought some new hardware but I plan on using a lot of the hardware that um, I got with the engine I, I cleaned it all up as best I could um, I did buy some of the uh, bolts for the case um, so I bought uh, new um, the intake uh, hoses that connect to the sump I bought new ones of those I bought new intake the intake uh, pipes uh, four new of those which I had these but I they're you know banged up and they look I want the engine to look like new um, so I bought uh, and new uh, new push rod tubes new oil drain back uh, hose there um, there's these are the uh, the push rods I didn't send those out um, but uh, anyways and then these are what I've assembled so far for lubricants I got the the plyo bond for the uh, for the crankshaft seal um, I got a bunch of tubes of this assembly lube that aircraft specialty sent me um, I have the uh, this POS number four perfect seal which for the crankcast crankcase uh, mating uh, surfaces um, I have the silk thread that aircraft specialties once again they sent me that free of charge which was really nice um, the aviation oil STP oil treatment for like a 50-50 mix that they call for um, and I bought this uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not but uh, it's an assembly lube Lucas assembly lube it has molly in it so um, some of the stuff supposed to be coated with molly but this this stuff this assembly loop here should have that in there um, so anyway that's about it I'm planning on doing this pretty soon um, I got a pretty good torque wrench there ready to go I do need to get a few more tools but um, anyways if you if you got any comments or suggestions um, please let me know and uh, I hope to be getting this together within the next couple weeks and I'll keep you posted I'm hoping to make another video so all right thanks